Hey guys, Captain Smash, Smash the Strength Lab, Ottawa, Ontario. So today, I'm doing a workout for the guys this time. So, sorry ladies, I have to split my time up equally and effectively. So, um, now this is going to be based on that preliminary video of uh, what to buy for your home gym, but it'll work in a gym scenario as well. So, um, basically what we're going to do is, means everybody's short on time, we're going to do three pairings of different exercises, going from bench to pull-ups, back and forth in between those for four sets, and then kettlebell pressing, kettlebell single arm row, just as though we don't have to change equipment. We're gonna go four sets of those, and then we're gonna go into some body weight work with some close grip push-ups and TRX work. Now this is basically, you know, an upper body pairing, so we're doing a heavy press and a heavy pull, another heavy press and another heavy pull. So we're splitting up the pulling motions by one being a vertical pull, a pull-up, and one being a horizontal pull, a row, <clears throat> and then also a horizontal press, which is a bench press, and then a vertical press being the kettlebell press. And then for our body weight stuff, we're gonna do some close grip push-ups and some TRX rows, just kind of polish everything off. So really quick, really effective. Should take you about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your speed. We're doing back and forth pairing, so you should get through this workout pretty quick. So if you're hustling, probably be done in about 30 minutes. We're gonna do about four sets of bench at five reps four sets of pull-ups at max reps. Now, if you can get 10 to 12 good pull-ups on each one of these, I would suggest adding some load. On the kettlebell press, we're gonna use a fairly heavy weight today, but you'll see that as we go. And we're gonna try to keep the same weight for the row so we can kind of balance one another out. And then body weight stuff, well, you're bringing it, so let's get after it. All right, it. so now you're gonna to wanna to warm up before, but I've already got a plate on the bar. We're just gonna start rolling. Now, you'll probably do a couple warm-up sets just to get to your max load of five. I'm just gonna keep mine simple and just do the 135 for you. Go ahead and keep those shoulders back, feet on the floor. Bring the bar up. Make sure you're keeping the bar in good control. Should go down to about the nipple line. Make sure your shoulders are back on the bench. That's common air that I see in the bench press all the time. So, feet on the floor, butts in the seat, little arch, shoulders back, press it up. I'm going right okay. from the bench press over to the pull-up bar. You're gonna get a nice wide grip. Really drive up hard, get a good squeeze, max reps. Here we go. Now notice, I got over 10 reps. I can probably keep repeating that effort, so you're probably gonna wanna add some load. That way you're getting the most benefit from those pull-ups. Okay, we'll do four more sets of those, and then we'll switch to the next exercises. Now for our next exercise, the standing kettlebell press, we're gonna use a, about a 50 pound bell. We're gonna bring it right into the rack position, nice and close on the chest. Pressing that kettlebell kinda out, and then up. You wanna kinda get your bicep by your ear. Okay, we're gonna hit about 10, 12 reps of those. A little higher rep range. Make sure you're keeping that kettlebell under control. Good solid brace of the abs. Now I really like this one because one, I can keep moving. Two, I can use one heavy belt and I don't have to have a lot of them. So now one thing you'll notice is I always try to keep my, my wrist straight up through there. That way it's going nice and straight. I've got a nice straight angle here. I'm not kinking my wrist like this. So nice and straight as I press up. Okay, now from here, we are gonna roll right into a single arm row. Just gonna brace off this up real quick. Grab that kettlebell back. Get a little drive with the, with the arm there. I almost want to just drive my elbow back. I don't want to pull with my bicep. I want to get the back to engage. There we go. There's our first set there. Take a little tactical pause. Let's breathe and come down. 
Repeat as necessary until you hit your four sets. Also helps to have some good Megadeth playing in the background. That's always a good thing. YouTube's gonna get me for copyright violations, but we don't care. Okay, we're back. So now we've got our TRX strap. We're gonna hit some rows and then drop in immediately into some close grip push-ups. You ready? Here we go. Walk it in and row it up. Now the main thing with the TRX row, you want to make sure that your hips are locked out nice and squeezed. Okay, brace your abs and then give yourself a good arm drive. All right, let's go get on our push-ups here. All right, so we're going to get a no nice close grip push-up. We're just going to go down and up. All right, you ready? Here we go. Well, the main thing in the close grip push-up, you want to keep your hands fairly close together so they go slide right in by the ribs and then good solid push out, mainly to engage those triceps. All right, there you go. Repeat that for four sets and you got yourself a great home workout. Chat with you soon. If you like this video, give it a like. If you think somebody else might like it, give it a share. Chat you later.